One of the things we teach at Thought Leaders is the power of positioning to create a business that's magnetic, uh, where you become an order taker and you don't have to do cold calls. Now, when you build a practice with positioning as your highest impact activity, you kind of develop a different attitude to traditional sales and marketing or business development opportunities. Uh, in several of our books, including Thought Leaders, uh, How to Capture, Package and Deliver Your Ideas for Greater Commercial Success, we unpack a core piece of the Thought Leaders curriculum called the Positioning Matrix. And you can see that now if you're looking at the uh, visual version of this newsletter. So I won't step through it in detail here in this newsletter, but in short, it's a framework that allows you to think through who you are, what you do, and why we as potential clients might care about all of that. And by strategizing and preparing answers to these nine focus areas, you kind of overcome reluctance to talk about yourself. This is like when you are your business, or your tendency to do so too much. And this process shows you the parts of your positioning that need work. So perhaps you need to share more personal stuff. That's the green column. Um, or maybe your, how your approach differs. That's the blue column. Um, or once again, how it might impact other people's lives, which is the red column. You may be low energy when talking about yourself, which is the first row, the bottom row. Um, and you might need to lift it. Or you may be too excited and coming from you know, the top row only. So it's a very... Uh, flexible and adaptive framework that you can use to help answer the question, what do you do? You take control of how you position in the marketplace and you can leverage that for strategic gain. Mm -hmm.